Thank you very much, George. Now, another team that was out at Le Golf National on Sunday was Team Australia. That's Jason Day and Min Woo Lee. And when I asked them what they were doing, essentially, they wanted to get a feel for the golf course, see how it was playing. Certainly, they want to be ready for Thursday's opening round. But more importantly, they said they just want to savor everything about the Olympic experience. I think it's, it, it's different for everyone. But um, for me, personally, um, I had the opportunity to represent Australia in 2016. And Unfortunately, I didn't, and now um, I get another chance, another opportunity to be able to represent Australia, which is uh, a massive honour, obviously. Uh, I've re I think both of us represented from a junior le level to an amateur level, now obviously professional, and then this is the, the top as far as you can go. So it's, uh, it's nice to be able to, uh, to get another go at it. Yeah, uh, it means a lot. Um, like Jason said, we've, I feel like you know, I've only been a pro for you know, not too long and it seems like it's, I've had a lot of times that I represent Australia, so it's quite nice to do that again. Uh, obviously, every tournament you represent Australia, uh, but um, just to, you know, actually really be in a team and uh, have Australia, you know, on everything we wear, yeah. so. Uh, Being an quite... Olympian is different than, than obviously, you know, just representing on the tour and playing for, yeah. for, the, for Australia. It's, yeah. uh, it means you're the two best Aussies. Obviously, every four years it comes comes around very, you know, infrequently like that. And um, it's nice to be able to know that um, we're here representing a whole country and not just ourselves, which is nice. You mentioned 2016, and I know circumstances kind of have changed since then. Yeah. Has your outlook towards the Olympics changed? The way you value this tournament? Uh, See how this week goes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I I feel like it it has. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people that um, that work for you know four years just to get to a point where they can represent their country in the Olympics. So, for us, our our season goes on and it, you know it can stretch out a long time. So, we're always living week to week. It's very difficult to kind of you know put yourself out ahead and think, hey, I can't wait to you know be on the Olympic team, but. This year was it was one of my goals to get onto the Olympic team. So um, I was thinking about it early on, you know, start of the season, trying to get myself into position to to represent. So yeah, I think um, it definitely has changed. Obviously, being here now, getting getting a feel for everything. Um, I got here this morning from from Ohio, and um, obviously looking at the Olympic rings over you know eighteen and nine um, nine here. It's it's amazing. Now, I know you said you had not had an opportunity to play the course yet, but I'm, you might have seen it during 2018 during the Ryder Cup. What's your outlook towards this golf course? Yeah, um, we haven't seen the course yet, so we'll, we'll have see. Have you played it, it? I played it last year at the French Open, yeah. so um, different conditions, but it looks really good from right here. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, and I, I don't think it's going to be too windy no, for the I, week. Yeah. So um, I know the weather's going to be good and hot, so we'll yeah. see how the course turns out. Played it on sim. <laughs> That's as far as I've got. So currently right now, I played actually okay with it on sim. I had a handicap too, thanks Menace. Um, had a handicap on the simulator too, so I pl played better than what I actually <laughs> thought. Um, but from what I understand, it's a pretty tough demanding uh, from tee to green. Pretty, like, you, and you're hitting a lot of mid-irons, long-irons. Um, so... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to, you know, kind of a little run through of it tomorrow.